All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now, today we have a special request from our patron, Brett, in which he has requested Sacred Reich. And the song is called Who's to Blame? Now, um, I don't recall doing any official reactions to this band, but I do remember listening to a song from them during our live stream on uh, Metal Meltdown. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, that's a heavy metal stream that I host every Friday night, and uh, we jam metal music all night long. But let's go ahead and jump into this song, and uh, let's hear what it's all about. Who's to blame? Mm. Metal ballad, huh? Make sure this is cranked up. Johnny, can you hear me? Turn that music down. You're making too much noise. I mean it to it now. All that stuff is evil. I'll see Judas Priest. <laughs> There's backwards messages in that stuff that leads you to the base. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh man! Like, right off the rip, I am already feeling this track. Um, it, it sounds like you know it's a play off of the uh, Satanic Panic that was really big in the '80s, but also just a play on heavy metal music in general because a lot of people think it's Satanic music. So sounds like his parent. Let's let's take that back a little bit. I'm, I'm feeling this so far. Much noise. I mean it to it now. All that stuff is evil. I'll see Judas Priest. There's backwards messages in that stuff that lead you to the base. Oh man! Johnny, can you hear me? Sounds like my parents. Oh 
Oh my God. Oh, this is nasty. That was nasty. This was a nasty ass track. Oh man, I thoroughly enjoyed this. This had everything that people love about uh, a good good music, a good song. Um, the changing tempo, the uh, change in the lead singer's vocals uh, tone to match the uh, the the rhythm of the song. Uh, it just gives it a lot of character. It does. It it it's, it, it really. It captures you in the in the feeling of what the song is really about, and um, <laughs> oh man, I, I think a lot of people can identify with this song, especially in your teenage years when you're listening to this style of music, or in, uh, or it doesn't matter if it was metal or or rap or hip hop. You know, your parents or somebody's always going to be like, "Hey, don't listen to that because it's devil music," and and um, you know, it, it'll make you uh, satanic or something like that. I mean, that was the case with, with me when I was growing up. My parents, uh, they would always say things, or mainly my mom, because my dad, he kind of listens to everything. But my mom would be like, hey, don't listen to that style of music because uh, it'll make you shoot up a school or something like that. And so uh, I, I think this was very interesting. Um, it, it definitely had a message in it, a message that a lot of musicians were talking about during the time. Uh, when the satanic panic was going on because, you know, kids were killing themselves and all, all kinds of stuff. And musicians were saying, hey, it's not the, it's not the music. It, it, it's whatever this kid has going on in his personal life. Uh, and it could possibly be your fault as well. You know, so why not take a look at the situation instead of actually blaming the musicians? So I, I thought that was uh, very, very interesting. And uh, I, I'm definitely down for hearing some more music from Sacred Reich. So, guys, if you have some suggestions... Uh, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section and, uh, and and leave your thoughts. I want to know what was going on when this song came out. I, I, I just I want to know from the perspective of uh, if you were a teen growing up and you heard this song and, and you identify with it. Or even uh, if you had kind of a more mature perspective and was watching the news uh, to see if this song was banned from the radio or something like that. I I'm just very, very curious. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, as always, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Like this video, and I will see you next time. Peace.